hello, Linda the Forge here with an art tip. We're going to learn how to draw a Celtic knot, specifically a triquetra. I'm going to show you three different ways that you can draw the triquetra. You pick the one that you like the best, which, you know, suits your drawing style the best. Mine is usually the third. So, get your pencils ready. It's going to be a lot of fun. The first two ways of drawing a triquetra involve starting with the white space. So, as we draw, I'll show you step one, step two, and step three. So step one, we're basically defining our area. So it's a triangle. You can do your triangle any old way you want. It could be a perfect triangle. It could be on an angle. It could be to fit whatever piece of artwork you want this to fit within as well. So in step two, I'll define my area again. And then I'm going to work on the white space, the inside of our triquetra. So it's basically like, it, like an oval or a football right here. And if I was really drawing this, I'd be using a very light pencil and I'd be inking over it, but I want you to actually be able to see on film what I'm doing here. So the triquetra has um, some joining points. So the inside of the line, it would be very lightly drawn, kind of work this way. Okay? So in step three, I'll define my area. And again, this would be light. You could erase it afterwards. I'm going to work on my white space. My little footballs are oval. And then working on the, the lines that would sort of join. Because this is basically a closed loop in a way. And then I work on sort of the outside area. So you can use sort of the width of your, your knot to work here. And you can start to see the shape of your knot. Now, you know your lines will... you see how they'll meet up. If you've got a light pencil, you can work and you know, redefine and refine how your knot will work. I use a darker, thicker marker. Now, there's a, a loop over and under. So if I start with my right knot, a portion of the knot, looping over, and now it's going to stop here. So this guy loops over to this guy. This guy is the other guy. Really tight knot in this case. There's no little space in the middle, is there? So the next kind of knot, very similar. But this time, we want there to be space in, in between. So there's also three steps. Step one. Let's, let's use something you can see better. Step one. Step two. And step three. So in this case, we've got triangles. And again, if you've got your pencil, you can erase and work with it. But your triangles are going to kind of have sort of have an oval feel to them. Now the next triangles I work on, you see the depth I've got here? I want to keep sort of a similar amount of space here. So that's step one. Step two, I'll repeat step one.
the difference here is I'm creating that line. So I know where I'm going to open that. It's just the two. See that? So in step three, repeating step one and two again. I'm going on the outside. You notice I started at the top of each sort of a loop, and now I'm going to go down to meet up with this guy. And there. It's a little bit of a funny looking knot, but it works. Of course, you can see the guys overlapping. I like mine to be kind of organic and planty looking. Some people want their knots to be perfect and symmetrical. In that case, they can get out their protractor or the ruler and measure them up. But there's a knot. Nice and simple. Now the way I like to do my knot, it's a little bit different. My first step is always to, oh, sorry, define my area, and then step two find the area. And I like to kind of work from the outside. Let's say okay. What's that going to be? And how thick do I want my line? So I want to be really thin, really thick. I'll do something a little thinner than the other one. Then. So that's my step two. So step three, I like to be a little scribbly. Find my area, finding my three bends, I guess you call them, inside, outside, and then, and then I scribble a little, and I match my lines together, and I want them to be a little more. Of course, in my case, I like to work with pencil first, and if I'm going to ink it, then I get the ink out after. So there's my triketra. There, scribbly as I am, and if this was pencil, I'd erase out all the working marks. And I think the finished one might be a little prettier than that. 